Hey everyone, it's Mr. Cramp from Core Martial Arts and Fitness. I'm with Senpai's Cassie and uh, Trevin today. We are going to be working on Pinon Sono San. Pinon Sono San is our third intermediate kata that we have to know. It's also our blue belt kata or our sixth Q kata. Remember, Qs are color belts, Dons are black belts. The lower the uh, Q number, that means the higher the color belt rank. So, 6Q is pretty good, a 10th Q is a white belt. So we're on 6Q blue belt, Pian Sono San. A couple of things about this kata. One of the first is we're incorporating Kibidachi, once again, into this kata. Um, we've got a stomp, and we've got a really cool uh, heel hook as we go through the, the kata. So look for some of these really cool new things that we're incorporating into the kata. Um, I've got her right here to the left. I've got him slightly back so you can see both of them working and we're going to go through it just like we did the other katas one part at a time and then they'll do it together fast. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Us. Okay, good. Once again, we look uh, chamber, step, stance, and act. So they're going to look to their left, they're going to chamber, and they're going to step to the left into a kiba or not a kiba dachi, but a uh, kokutsa dachi. That means back stance, inside out walk. Uchi uki. From there, they're going to step up. They're going to do an uchi uki gedan barai, or inside out block, down block at the same time. And they're going to do it twice, one and two, kind of fast. Mm -hmm. They've just completed that. The next thing that they're going to do is opposite. So they're going to turn to the right, look, step, stance, and act. Inside out block, step left foot to right foot, and uchi uki gedan barai at the same time twice. Go. Mm -hmm. One, two. Okay, from there, they're going to go into a support block um, with their left foot coming down the body of the eye uh, in a zinkutsudachi or front stance. Go ahead, chamber, and step forward into support block. Once again, they're in a great zinkutsudachi, and they're in a really good support block. A support block looks like that. So from here, this is where things get a little weird. Uh, go ahead and chamber, step, and act. Boom. They go into a nukate, right, a spear hand, and from here they're going to do a sweeping action. I'm going to do my best to try to explain this. So the important thing is that the sweep comes to the left side. Their sweeping hand will be the hand that just did the nukate, and they're going to end up facing the same direction that they're facing now. Okay? So they're going to go ahead and go ahead and execute it slowly, sweep as they step behind and go right into a hammer fist, okay? Or a tetsui. So, they're in a kibidachi. Once again, they're facing this direction. They've done their sweep. The next thing that they're gonna do is step forward and punch. Okay, now from here, um, go ahead and chamber for the next move. They turn around and now they're facing this direction. Um, they're in a closed foot stance their hands are right here by their belt, just like when they finish uh, class. And from here, they're gonna uh, commit to a series of three kicks and three back fists. So three Jodan uh, Maigaris, followed by three Arakans or back fists. When they land, they're gonna make sure that they stomp their foot. Uh, the stomping is they're landing, think of themselves as landing on a person's foot shrugging off and then back fisting. So are you guys ready? Yeah. Go ahead and execute the next move. Front kick, land in kibidachi, shrug, and back fist. Boom. They're gonna do that three times. There's the first, go ahead and do the second. There you go, and third. Excellent. So from here, they've, committed, they've uh, completed their three uh, my Gary's and Arakans, now they're going to do what's called Shote Cover. Their hand is going to move very slowly out, their right hand, go ahead, and it's slow and forced, like they're pressing up against somebody, pushing them back, okay? Then they're going to step forward for the next move. Go ahead. Excellent. Now, from here, I like to call this clicking their heels, right? Their right foot is going to come up against their left foot, and once from that point, they're gonna turn. Step out, and elbow, or hijiate. And once again, in a kibidachi, from here, and this was described to me a long time ago, pretend that you're in one boat, and you wanna hop into the other boat. So they're gonna lift up their knee, go ahead and lift it up, and hop. Boom, and 
and when they do that, they're going to switch elbows. So that is Pino Sono San. Hopefully I'm explaining it good enough for you guys to follow along. And Nare, that's excellent. Okay, very good. So what we're gonna do next, um, Trevor, why don't we have you step off really quick. Us. I'm gonna have you go through the entire kata. Let's go ahead and go fast. Um, and we'll let you see what it looks like when it's all completed. Okay? Pino Sono San. Yes. Hundred. Pino Sono San, Blue Belt Kata. Os.